Yo guys, it's your boy Cortex back with another video and before we start this video I would just like to give a big thanks to everybody that has been watching my videos, liking, even my subscribers, I'm almost at 100 even this, this much support that I'm getting really motivates me to make more videos it might not be as much as other people but to me it's like a hundred million subscribers because honestly you guys are the best and you know every like and subscribe counts every view counts and every comment i always uh, reply to comments i will always keep on replying because i love to talk to you guys and see what you pro what the problems are about with yeah stuff maybe geforce now and your comments on my montages but um yeah i just wanted to say thank you for all the support and uh let's get into the video so guys today of course we are doing a geforce now video i'm going to go and do an in-depth tutorial to show you guys how i use geforce now and what you can do to improve your geforce now maybe you live in a different part of south africa and it doesn't run smooth for you or you live in a different country and i'm gonna be going over everything and just 100 percent showing you how to boost your internet speed all your geforce now speed and the quality of it so let's get into that guys so guys the first thing i do before I start up GeForce now is I open this app called Timer Resolution so you'll open it it will ask for your administrative password and then this will open this little window will open so what you do is you want to put this on maximum because I already mine's already open so I already set it to maximum and you want to minimize it you can't close the window because it won't have any effect then so you need to minimize it okay guys and the second thing that i use all this doesn't make a difference but it only helps my pc it's called memory dot and i always have it running so basically if my pc gets too overwhelmed there's a button called clean memory which basically makes the pc speed up like the performance increase if the PC is under a lot of pressure so guys another thing that people are not getting right or not um, are struggling with is the VPN region so um, what you would want to do is you always want to go for your best location and you want to click so it's always at the top of the list and you want to take that one because that provides the most stable internet connection to the servers but depending on your best connection GeForce now has servers and it depends how close is that best connection to the GeForce now server that also depends on quality so that's why I always use I always use United Kingdom and on GeForce now I use the setting let me just open this up but for GeForce now I use the setting EU Central 4 so that works really well with the United Kingdom one and I use EU Central 4 as you can see you will get different sent um, different servers so say if you want to play you want to play NA East or something then you look okay uh, what do you know is in America what let's say US East okay boom there and then you're gonna set the US US where is it US South I don't even know if the uh, anyway but uh, you can set let's say just say US Central and then you set this to US Central then you will play on zero ping on NA 
servers and you can play around with the servers and test out what works and what doesn't work for you another thing guys is that if you're going to settings as you can see mine my max per thread takes 12 megabytes so this depends on your internet speed okay so mine could go up to 50 but then if I try streaming or something my quality is bad so what I would recommend is putting it between 10 and 15 and if your internet is still laggy you should put it straight down to 5 the quality will become blurry but it really helps it the, the input delay decreases and the game is smoother on 5 bit rate I have tried it before and yeah but I'm just gonna put mine up to 15 cause I need to change that setting anyway and yeah the setting should be off if you like VC you can turn it on I don't like it adjust poor connection if you want I would not recommend it to status cause then a little marker on your screen will appear a to show you what your internet is and it's so annoying you can set your keyboard layout on geforce now so you can maybe make it japanese and you can type in japanese to your friends and troll them or whatever you want this just shows if you're playing geforce now on your discord so i turn this off because i don't like people seeing me if i'm playing games or not and yeah this is a tip i gave um in one of the last videos is to open your internet and networking settings so you will see your internet is whatever and you can go into the properties of your internet so if you have a metered connection on that means you have a limited data plan and you want to control your data usage so i always have this off because I, I have uncapped but if you guys have capped you can turn this on and you can i don't know how to set it but I think it's auto, I think it auto sets, but yeah, anyway into the next thing you want to go to change adapter options, and what you can do is you want to click properties, go to internet protocol version 4 properties and type in a DNS server, the best gaming DNS server is called cloud service or something similar to that, and it's this DNS right here. It's one 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 and then one o o one. And you want to click OK. You want to click Close. So that basically puts you on the cloud gaming server, and it is your internet runs crispier. And that's what I use to play games. What you can also do is you can put that. You can turn a Winscribe on. And you can go into open open here and you can go to change adapter settings that's by wi-fi sorry and you can click properties and um i do this if there's a long queue so what i do is i click properties and i click i i type in the cloud dns server And it will tell you you need to dial it so you need to do this and turn it back on and then the settings will be applied again and that's um that's if you want to say you don't want to sit in a, uh, a line for way too long you just do that and yeah and then you in a line simple and easy another very important thing that I did not mention in my old videos is that if your PC your PC also affects how GeForce now runs if your PC is way too overworked then GeForce now will not run smoothly so guys what you want to do is you always want to keep your PC in check you want to keep it clean and you want to always update your PC because updating could affect your network so it could improve it if you do not have the latest updates installed then your 
your PC might be affected and the performance might decrease as well and yeah so that's a tip that I would do well that's what I do I always keep my PC up to date like I updated it yesterday another thing that I've mentioned before is using wlanoptimizer.exe I'll put this in the description as well and what you would like to do is you want to go to settings and you want to enable streaming mode and disable background scan always keep this minimized and start with windows that's all you need to do this basically turns your internet into a ethernet cable so you'll get faster connection and this is what i use with mine my geforce now to make it run that a little bit more smoother okay so now i'm gonna continue with the next part of the video guys and i'm gonna actually go into geforce now so guys i have just loaded into fortnite and i'm starting it up this is on the 15 megs that i showed you guys for some weird reason my fs is kept to 120 okay is that a new setting or something oh no it's not <laughs> it was just kept so this is my in-game settings that i use if you want the less if you want less delay i would suggest turning post processing off and motion blur off but i have post processing and motion blur to make my clips look crispy and i always turn allow multi threaded rendering on and other than that all of my settings are just um let me just hop into a creative quickly and show you guys as you can see my game is a bit blurry but it is running nice and smoothly it is raining outside <laughs> it's been raining the whole day so far but it's only 9 o'clock almost 10 o'clock so yeah I'll show you guys oh, oh I still have OBS running that's fine And let me just show you guys how my game runs. As you can see, I'm having no problems. I'm always on my zero ping. I, my game doesn't stutter that much. Only stutters when it feels like it. Because, yeah, that's how my game is. I can eat it perfectly. And yeah, I, I don't get any problems with GeForce now. I don't know about you guys. Well, that's why I'm making a video so I can help you guys out. But um, yeah, I also was thinking of doing a high ground retake tutorial and just showing you my custom high ground retakes. If you guys would like to just say in the comments, tell me in the comments how you feel about it and should I or should I not. So um of course increasing the meg megabits or the bit rate, sorry, in GeForce now will improve the quality and yeah it doesn't really affect the input delay for me because my internet I have under me line and it's so smooth and yeah that's that's basically everything I don't think there's any any other settings that I need to go over um, here's a quick teaser of what my keyboard uh, my Mac keybinds are I have pretty weird keybinds everyone says but yeah slow down the video if you want and just look at my keybinds and here's my sensitivity and I play on 1200 dpi okay guys um, one thing I forgot to mention is your fps in GeForce now sometimes you get 60 fps and you can't help it because that's the pc and Sometimes you get higher FPS and maybe unlimited, but 
if you're on 60 fps it gives a much more delay than if you're on 120 140 the higher you go the less delay except for unlimited unlimited will um, give you more input delay